Salem? Salem? What do you think? Are you going to help me stamp? Are you Joop? Hello everyone, my name is Hilda and welcome back to my channel. You've probably guessed correctly what we are doing today in this uh, golden glow autumnal light. We are going to put stamps on the cover of my Halloween journal. I've got my Happy Halloween stamp, a trick or treat, my steampunk boo. I've got my brown Stazon ink, which is specific for leather and stuff. And I've of course got a block for the acrylic uh, stamps. So yeah, um, first of all, I'm going to take everything out of the cover because I think that will make it easier to stamp on it. So let's do that. I will admit, I'm a little bit nervous because I don't want to ruin it, especially because I like the ink splotches. By the way, I have discovered that the best way to do an ink splotch is to just pour some ink on and then just splat it with your hand. At least that's how I got the best results. So um, yeah, um, I'm just gonna go dive in it. I'm not too worried about the right space here because there's a little bit of a stripe where um, the elastic was on. Um, so yeah, I have a pretty good idea of where this will go, um, you know, compared to where the elastic is. Uh, the only thing I'm a little bit worried about is that it doesn't stay flat completely here, which could be a bit of an issue. I'm gonna make sure the bookmarks are removed as well. I think ideally I should remove all of this to make it lie completely flat, but that seems a nightmare and a half. So I'm just going to jump in it and hope for the best. We've got two cats behind me who are completely convinced I've lost the plot. I can't really blame you. This ink doesn't seem to be as dark as I thought it was. So I hope it will show up. Fingers crossed. And this is a clear stamp from Inka Dinka Do, for those who haven't seen my other Halloween um, video about this particular traveling traveler's notebook. All right. As we say in Dutch, op hoop van zegen. that actually worked let me zoom you in okay so it's not super clear but i like it regardless i mean look at it i like it Whew, that went a lot better than i thought it would and yeah it's not super super dark but i actually like you know the shade on the on the rest Thank God this is not a brown traveler's notebook because then I would have been in trouble. Yeah, okay, so let's do the boo. I'm still worried, but uh, I am encouraged now that uh, the other one has you know, turned out way better than I thought it would. This is properly inked. You can see it be shiny all over, so that's a good sign. All right, let's do the blue. of my all-time favorite stamps not just clear stamps but stamps in general uh, because it's both steampunk and halloween and i mean come on doesn't get any better than that look oh my god i want to stamp on all my camel journals now well all my camel journals that are not my records one i would not stamp on the records one but yeah um let's do the final one the trick or treat. I do feel like trick or treat should go on here. 
initially I, I just thought about doing just these guys, but then I was like, it kind of has to say trick or treat as well. And I want to place it like here. So that's slightly also not completely flat. So I'm a bit worried, but it worked out for the Happy Halloween, which has a lot more fine details, like with the swirls and stuff. I love how easily this ink picks up the fine details as well. This is really, really good ink. Um, this was recommended to me by Charlotte of Charlotte's Notebooks. Um, I saw her on Instagram that she had a picture of a notebook, a traveler's notebook, full of stamps. And I was like, oh my God, now I want to do it. And um, she recommended I get Stazon ink. So thank you very much for the recommendation, Charlotte. I really appreciate you taking the time to tell me what I should get and, you know, give me tips. So yeah, well, let's do the final. So I'm gonna place it a little bit more here. Yay! Haha! <laughs> Success! Oh, I am so pleased. <gasps> Trick or treat! Yes! I feel like this is totally a treat. I'm trying to blow away some dust. Oh my god, you guys! It worked out! I am so happy! And yeah, I know, I mean, like, a darker brown would make it pop a little more, but I really don't mind. So now I'm just gonna set it all up again and show it to you as it is right now. So this is it. Um, as you can see, well, not very clearly because they're quite subtle. D3 stamps and then my charms. I've added another octo clip. There's one on my um, passport format that I carry a lot around all the time as well. I love these. Um, they come in like four different colors, but I've taken out the burnt orange ones, especially on here, it really pops. I like that if you put it on like a brown elastic, it seems more brown, but if you have it on an or orange elastic, it seems more orange. And then these little danglies I put on, they're still on there as well. And then it's just a Ziploc bag. Then there's this folder. There's nothing in it at the moment. Oh yeah, nope. Sorry, I tell a lie. There's a bunch of stickers and stuff in here. There's ephemera in it. Um, I still plan on putting um, a patch on here. Then the front of my uh, memories. Well, my, my actual journal journal, which is still empty. Well, this, except for this page, which I did in the video where we set it up. And then there's the back of my orange thing and uh this is a b-sides and rarities one and they're starting to get sold out everywhere but i like it because it's orange and brown and yeah this is for sure empty then there's the back of the clear one that has a plastic card in it and then it's just my crafts etc um insert which is from is this blank or grid i think this is blank and this is the grid. Yeah, this is the grid and this is the blank. So yeah, and then just like you saw last time, eyeballs and the pumpkin pattern. Vote for knitting. Uh, I don't know how to crochet if my life depended on it. So um, I knit stuff. And this eyeball pattern, pattern is by Vanessa Munsi, And I will link it in the description below. And yeah, I still want to decorate the backs. And um, yeah, still got to make a... Halloween stationery order, which I, I will film when it arrives, but I have to place it first. Because I think it will be fun to see like, well, this, is, this of course will be a little bit different, but in theory, it would be fun to see the back and then the front. But yeah, I also want to get another insert, potentially a lined one, potentially another dot grid one, just to make like Halloween lists and stuff. Like stuff I want to buy, stuff I want, you know, to, to get, to plan a party and whatnot. Um, yeah. I might want to throw a summer ween party for my friends. I don't know yet. We'll have to see. 
Summerween is coming up though. It's next month already. Oh my god. But yeah, um, <laughs> that was it. It's just a short video of me stamping on my journal and uh, showing you what it looks like at the moment. I hope you enjoyed this, even though it is short and very Halloween specific. Let me know in the comments down below. Do you like Halloween? Do you like journaling? Or just leave a comment full stop. If you do leave a comment, please be kind. Subscribe if you want to stick around for more shenanigans in motion and hit that notification bell so YouTube will hopefully let you know when I upload my next video. And yeah, that's it for today and I will see you in the next one. Oh yeah, before I forgot, um, Hmm, song of the day. I've given up on like making it a Belgian song because there's so, so many good songs. Um, let's go with my all time favorite version of the Monster Mash, Monster Mash 2 by the Misfits. So yeah, that's it. Bye bye.